Hey boys, welcome back to some more Steven Smith career mode. Coming off a, uh, we won, didn't we? <laughs> it's actually been a little bit since I, um, I recorded that first episode, but I'm pretty sure we won. We got a, we got a good 50, a good 50 odd, I think. Uh, but now we're coming up against, uh, a little bit of an arch rival over here. New Zealand of all teams. Um... You know, they've always been a very good short format cricket team. The test the test arena they've 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 been up and down. They've been up and down a lot in the in their time. Probably you'd have to say more down, I would say, with New Zealand, but the last few years and you know, this season uh in particular, it seems like they've got a pretty a pretty well balanced uh test side with batting and bowling so all three formats New Zealand are, are really starting to to show some uh some fantastic form so this is going to be a, a a great a great game obviously we know what happened in the in the real world cup <laughs> with uh with New Zealand and England and a bit of a uh, you know a bit of tomfoolery to to finish that final New Zealand you'd have to say pretty unlucky <laughs> but uh yeah obviously a, a fantastic side so we're gonna be uh we're gonna be coming in here third uh or first drop basically there's the uh the team i wonder <laughs> i wonder if um someone mentioned it that uh hazelwood was the the keeper in that uh in that first game i have no idea if he's keeper again and i have no idea if the rest of this the or the rest of this comp he will be because i I don't change it, <laughs> and I don't, I don't, uh, I don't even know, it's very strange that he was, um, but regardless, we're gonna get a little sneaky, uh, top edge there, it actually sounded like it came straight off the, off the lid, but, um, yeah, nice, uh, might have come top edge onto the, onto the helmet there, so, Doug Bracewell, bit of a, <laughs> bit of an older, older name in, uh, in the team here for New Zealand, decent, uh, Decent all rounder from memory. Bracewell, he was he was an okay player. Um, I didn't really see the New Zealand team. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's a lot different to uh to their one day team um present day, but it's probably you know probably still pretty solid. As we look at it is actually a reduced a reduced game. I didn't even notice that, but only 40 overs, target of 234. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 doable without doubt, and we're off to a, off to a pretty steady start, I would say. Chris Lynn and Aaron Finch got about a sixty odd run partnership, both in the thirties. Linny is going a little bit uh, a little bit slow for his liking, but uh, you know he's uh, he's playing a nice a nice opening role. I do have him at opener, because um, why not? You know, basically that's the reason. And uh, our job here with Steve Smith come out. Take the game on, really. We're, we're not going to get bogged down. Pretty much at least going run a ball and then looking for uh, for any bad balls to to hit into the stands or over the rope. So, yeah, that's that's the plan. As it uh, looks like, you know, Linz, he's struggling a little bit. 32 off 51. As long as he stays in, as that is put down. That is an absolute shocker. <laughs> Usually the bowlers in this game are freakish off their own bowling. Um... Jimmy Neesham, on the other hand, I guess the the lack of pace got him. I I hit it so late as that is absolutely smoked. That, that is huge. This these 144 meters. Good lord, just gone inside out over the over extra cover. That is massive. These little these little dibbly dobbly 110 kilometer hour deliveries, just they're the worst. They're the absolute worst. You just cannot generate any pace. So. Honestly, the um, coming down the track and trying to trying to blast it like that was a was a good option, and uh, we timed it to absolute perfection. As uh, there should be two here, I'm pushing Lynn because there should be two. Direct hit, he was gone, but um, I don't know. <laughs> it's a little bit of a side note, but Chris Lynn has got his 50, 51 off 65, so a very uh, a very good opening uh, knock here from Lynn. Hopefully, he can uh, push. Uh, push through to get triple figures really if he gets a hundred I mean we win the game basically as simple as that I mean we're halfway through the overs we're a bit over halfway for the runs as we have absolutely skied this delivery 
Where is it? It's freaking gone for six. How high did we hit that? All ideals. But we have just scooped it. I don't... <laughs> it went so high. If there was a roof on this ground, it, it's hit the roof for sure. Where did it go? <clears throat> it didn't... Uh, I mean, it went a fair way back for how high it was. That was... That was a mammoth six. It didn't go <clears throat> as far uh, as others, but uh, the height on it was just astronomical. Um, but Lynn has started to uh, to really pick it up now. 60 off 68. We're 30 off 26. Um, a little, you know, the batting hasn't been that easy. We've just played a couple of booming sixes to really push our our run rate up. But a lot of a lot of dot balls and a lot of like mistiming shots, just because of the the lack of pace. They've got guys like Jimmy Neesham, who I talked about. It's going to sneak a, a single here. Unfortunately, because it hit the stumps, it doesn't let you go for a two. I would have got two there, but it didn't let me run again, which is weird. Um, unfortunately, Linny has uh, has departed. It brings Labishane to the crease. Um, who? Uh, this is his uh, first game on this Kree mode in the, in the green and gold here, in the one-day kit. Uh, I put him at four. You know, obviously in real life, and Tessie's playing at three, but uh, because I'm controlling Smith, I will put Smith at, uh, at number three <laughs> for sure. Um, but, uh, you know, the uh, the master and the apprentice, so to speak, at the in the middle at the moment. And uh, looks like, I mean, at the moment, it's it's looking pretty good. But this, I mean, this, this bowl is pretty good. Um, I have no idea who it is. I don't know <laughs> the name. <laughs> but uh, that you know, one, mid 130s to 140s, I love that type of pace. The uh, the the slow stuff, but uh, that is absolutely whipped gloriously. And again, the spin, I I can time the spin well because it's sort of like a just the the real slow stuff I can time. But then that yeah, the 100 110 kilometer, 120 kilometer. I, I just, it's just tough, and it's tough to score quickly, so they'll bowl in a lot of those, those, uh, medium paces in, uh, in sort of the middle part of our innings, and, uh, we were sort of getting a little bit bogged down, but a few, a few good sixes, a few nice boundaries thrown in, as, uh, again, I was looking for two, but again, I, I was going to talk about this, but that for some reason in this game, dude, the non-strikers are so slow. Like right here, this should be two for sure. Labishane, he's in and out so slow though. That time, that time it actually seemed fine because they threw to the keepers then. But they, the 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 non-strikers in this game do not back up. If anything, when they usually take off for the first run, they're like way behind the the pop increase, and even sometimes they're going backwards, which is. Very annoying as uh, we're going to get another overthrow. I don't know what what is the keeper doing, dude. <laughs> he's in uh, he's in the frog stance right there. But uh, there's the 50. Back to back 50s. I think we got a 50. We, I'm sure we got a 50 in that first game. And uh, finding some uh, fantastic form. 50 off 41. I mean, it's the, it's the perfect innings as a number three coming in in this position. We're off to a, a, a steady to good start with Finch and... And Lynn, Lynn pushed forward and got a, a good 60 odd, and now we've played a, a good counter-attacking knock as well to to really make this run chase not not a not a given at the minute. It's still, I mean, 60 runs from uh, from 67 deliveries. You know, a lot can happen in uh, in 60 runs, but at the moment we've uh, we we've, we've eased a lot of pressure and just that scoreboard pressure from from other batters coming in basically. So even if we do depart. Hopefully it set us up for a for a pretty a pretty cruisy finish. Um, but uh, you know while we're in here, we're definitely going to try and knock these off as quick as possible. This one again is flicked away just nicely into the gap. Pretty good timing. Just uh, again the slower pace of that delivery couldn't really get too much power through uh, through the shot. So just picking up a nice a nice easy two and Larby Shane like he. Uh, like he does in the longer formats, he gums out, looks busy, picking up the ones and twos, batting uh, exactly how he should in this uh, in this little uh, little partnership. So it's it's a uh, it's 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 been a good little a good start to the to the World Cup campaign, the world uh, the 50 over World Cup campaign. We're looking uh, looking a very uh, a very good team here. Is who is this? Is that Tim Payne? <laughs> It's either Tim Payne or George Bailey. I, 
<laughs> it is funny if it's Painy bringing out the bringing out the drinks. It might have been Bailey, but it looked like Pain, didn't it? <laughs> a little bit of irony. As look at the that one is a perfect example, dude. Lava Shane directed he was gone, but did you see? Like there is no, the the striker should never be in turning for the second before the non-striker unless it's gone like just past the bowler um as a, again like that one right there like we're in the crease way quicker than, than lava shane and I, I just i think it's an issue in the game it's not you know it's not one of those massive issues as we try to club this one down the ground pretty i mean a pretty safe shot they do have a, a mid off but he's very very deep more of an extra cover so I thought anything real straight and we're, we're pretty good. We just got no, absolutely no timing on it as uh, Patel continues. Looking uh, looking for a quick single, but uh, probably safely sending uh, sending old Lava Shane back. So 61 or 55. Again, we, we haven't really been able to explode this innings. Again, the slow, the slow pace of the bowlers as this one is flicked beautifully into the gap and the field has done a good job to get across to it we're gonna push for the two. Oh man we would have been in trouble there well we were in trouble but thankfully the throw wasn't a direct hit you know you you'd be pretty stiff to get uh to get a direct hit from that distance but it can happen as uh that uh unfortunately that one is not gonna be uh saved that is definitely gonna be stumped good uh you know good piece of bowling i tried to come down the track i was trying to up the ante for the last few runs but um yeah he saw me coming banged in short got a little bit of spin away and that's uh you know that's a pretty traditional um uh, wicket right there it's mitchell stark man in the match with three for 44 chris lynn myself larby shane aaron finch all all contributing to get these runs it looked like it was affected again by oh no we we just got the run so hopefully guys are enjoying the series make sure to like and comment and i'll see you in the next one